going to end uh, we're leaving Starbucks now which is inside DW Fresh Market and um, I'm tired I've done enough work I uploaded a video of our second day and live now so you guys can go watch um it'll, it's already up before this one's up so yeah i'm going to sleep and i'll show you guys what we do in the morning so see ya hey guys so right now i'm getting ready to just clean up the van and i figured i'd take you guys with me um i hope you can see because i want to have you guys sitting up here that I actually have you guys sitting on right now because it broke I broke it um so I'm going to do that I'll film it I'm going to be doing my best to film literally everything that I possibly can remember to film this time around in van life because before I didn't really do very well with filming or uploading or anything like that and I was like how, how do I expect you guys to watch me if I'm not you know going to stick my guns with anything right so going to be doing that and I will move you guys again because right now you're actually sitting on the shelf I'm going to be fixing. So, I will move you guys again. I don't know if the lighting is good. If it's not, I'm sorry. Um, but this is the best angle I can get at the moment. I'm currently looking for my glue. I think it's in here. Oh look, I found my clear curtain. Okay, I hope it's in here. It's not feeling like it's in here. So, I will be right back. I'm going to look for my E6000 glue. thing to do. Duct tape. Hopefully I can make it work because I'll show you the issue. Literally. Wobbly. So I'll see what duct tape does.
Now on to the band clean. I got it remotely taped down to the best that I could. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start cleaning the band now. Okay, so the van is relatively clean and I feel comfortable enough now to share it with you guys. I'm just doing a few last minute arrangements up front. Alright, so I'm going to start with the front first. This is the front. And we have file folder here. I have my spices there. This is the captain's chair and this is the co-captain's chair. I usually never sit on that anymore because we always have a third person with us now because we take a friend back and forth to work. So I usually just sit where I'm at right now, which is okay with me. So, and behind them is the bed, like literally directly behind um so if we get back here this is what i'm sitting on actually is the bed so it is a full size bed and before the configuration we had it was like pushed back here where all this stuff is but now it's up here our pillows and stuff are up here we have blanket up to block the windows and okay it's very spacious spacious back here let me pull the curtain back a little so you can see um so i have my jacket my winter coat hanging there it's a little warmer today so i don't need it um there's a wire basket full of stuff we still need to get rid of and go through um I have a cooler that was originally supposed to go on a bike caddy, but the bike caddy broke and I didn't feel like messing with it, so I didn't even bother. We actually only are down to one bike as well because, um, because, oh, sorry, my brain doesn't want to work today, so forgive me, because the bike, the second part of the caddy was too low, so my bike was actually scraping on the ground and it messed up the tire. So, we're down to one bike, but at least we have a bike still. <laughs> um, so there's a stool that we will be getting rid of eventually. And a table. It just folds out, and I actually use that as a cooking surface to hold, like, the pot and the pan and all of that. So, uh, there's our stove. Wow, the sun, hold on. Here's our camp stove. Right here set up from last night. It was my first night in a long time cooking in the van and I made pasta. It was delicious. And we still have our two plastic things. We got rid of the black one because it liked to fall over a lot. So we got rid of that because I got tired of dealing with it falling over. On top is actually a drawer from the black one and uh, I use that as storage, which I'm going to be going through because I want to use it as a dish washer to wash dishes in and stuff. Next to it is the thing that holds my art supplies. And this little shelf is the shelf that we've had since the house. So I think one of the only things that we still have from the house. I have a candle going right here. It's actually sweet pea scent, not lavender. This is an old candle jar that I get the 50 cent candles and I put them in and I burn them out every time. And um, it's, just, it's good to reuse things. So yeah, it goes right there. I put it there. I have a piece of artwork and underneath is dirty dishes and our water. Now this shelf is my work shelf. I have a basket full of tools that I use. This is actually our lighter for the stove. I still have my ceramic leaf, which is another thing from a previous art show. I traded a painting for back in North Carolina. I still have my two bucket boxes 
not worth it, in boxes. I'm down to two sketchbooks and one in my purse. And my phone is sitting right here. And that's really about it. The things that are in the drawer is food and that's gonna be a whole separate video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, that is our van tour. And oh, our dream catcher. I have that one hanging up there. And I have the very first one hanging up here. So I'm excited and just really happy to be back in the van. You know, even though it's cold, I, I just feel like I'm gonna learn that much more about life and how to handle things in life. And I'm just so grateful for what we did have before and to what we're back into now. It's just, it's just a really good feeling. And yeah, so I'll see you guys.